Hello there. In our last session, we have seen some very basic functions into the image processing using MATLAB. Let's see one important aspect of the image processing or digital image processing using MATLAB and that is color spaces. I have told you in last like session that every MATLAB image will have a particular size which is specified into the pixels and each pixel has a particular value. If it's a grayscale image, then it will have a value between 0 to 255. And if it is a color image, then it will have three different values of three different components called RGB. Now these RGB or red, green, blue values can also be represented into some other color model and that is called as a color space. Why do we use these different color spaces is because it can represent color information in ways that can make some calculations more simple and more convenient. For example, if I have to do some processing onto the changing the red color of an image, it may be a little bit difficult for me to do that or intensity wise using RGB color space. So in that way or in that case, what I do is I change the color space, do some processing and changing back to the RGB that this becomes simpler and much more convenient in number of different applications. So what are those color spaces? Practically, there are many different color spaces used by MATLAB, which we'll list out in the article along with this video. But let's see what is that first color space that we need to study. And that is HSV, which states U, saturation and value. Here U stands for the color which values ranges from 0 to 1.0. Saturation varies from 0 to 1.0 and value or brightness also varies from 0 to 1.0. Now let's see here. So this is the U value and that starts with red. So in this color space, the U value ranges from red and different colors, number of different colors are there between 0 to 1, but it starts from 0 which is red and it ends at 1 which is also red. And between 0 to 1 there are all those different colors. So U is used to select the particular color. Next thing there is, is the saturation, which is the shades of gray of the color. Saturation also varies from zero to one. So this is the saturation. If particularly say I have selected this red color, then this is the saturation of that color, means the intensity of color is increasing. So saturation one means fully saturated colors and zero means totally unsaturated colors at this point. So U is color, second is saturation. Third parameter is like this, which is called as value and that is nothing but brightness in that color. And that brightness can also vary from zero to one where zero corresponds to the dark image and one corresponds to the brightest image. So this is a color space. We can convert an image from RGB to HSV, do some processing and change it back to the RGB. As said before, the MATLAB's digital image processing toolbox gives us easy to use functions to do all these things. The two functions we are going to use are RGB to HSV and HSV to RGB. So these are the same over here, but we can convert them back with HSV to RGB like this. So <coughs> why don't you see the text code? Let's try it out. As shown in the last video, uh, colored chips is an image which we will be using right now. So let's say A is equal to I am read color chips and I'll do what? I am show A. That will show the a or that will just display this image that is colored chips. Then we'll convert it to HSV by doing RGB to HSV A. And at this point, I want to print another image or I want to create another image. So for that, first take a figure <coughs> means a blank canvas and then I am show HSV. Now we'll see the RGB image first and then we'll see the HSV image on two different windows. This is the RGB image 
and this is where the image looks like or this is how the image looks like when it is converted to the HSV format or HSV color space. At this point we can do the processing whatever that we need if we need at all and then we can convert it back using this function and I'll, I'll again check another figure and I am show RGB. So that will generate three different windows. <coughs> I need to close some windows first which were opened before and then I'll run the program again. So figure 2, figure 1 and figure 3 are same because these are the RGB images and this is the HSV image. So that's about the color space in the processing or in Starting about the image processing further, we will see how and what we can do with this HSV format. For now, just understand how to do the conversion from RGB to HSV and back. So try out this code, try it out with some other images also to see different results and get the output. Thanks for watching this video.